Hi friends, welcome back to USMLE team. Today's topic is uh, uh, flu cytosine. Okay, so this is a very important topic for USMLE step one examination. Uh, recently, we are adding videos. We are working on uh, step one uh, preparations. So uh, right now we are covering topics uh, on pharmacology for step one. So please subscribe to our channel and tell your friends to subscribe. Okay, let me start with this. Guys, learn by video because you will remember for a longer time. Even if you know about the flu, flu cytosine, just uh, watch this video because if you watch the video, then you will remember. If, even if you forget during your examination, you can recall it through the videos because you, you see, you hear, right? So this is very, this sensory system works very nicely during your examination. Uh, flu cytosine is a 5-fluorocytosine is a fluorinated pyrimidine analog is a synthetic uh, antimycotic drug also. One is that the drug is intrafungally converted into the cytostatic fluorouracil that undergoes further steps of activation and finally interacts as a 5-fluorouridine triphosphate with RNA biosynthesis disturbs and disturbs the building of, uh, um, building of certain essential proteins. Sorry for that. Um, the other mechanism is the conversion of a 5-fluorodeoxyuridine monophosphate which inhibits the fungal DNA synthesis. Remember about this um, mechanism, this is very important. Okay. Flucytosin, uh, oral flucytosin is indicated with the treat for the treatment of serious infection caused by the uh, Candida and Cryptococcus neoformans. Uh, it is also used in the treatment of uh, chromomycosis. Okay, if susceptible strains cause infection. Flu cytosine must not be used as a sole agent in a life-threatening fungal infections due to relatively weak antifungal effect and a fast development of resistance, but rather in a combination with the amphotericin B. Recently, I uploaded a video on amphotericin B. As well as antifungals such as fluconazole, atraconazole, minor infections such as candidal cystitis may be treated with flu cytosine alone. All patients receiving flu cytosine should be under strict medical supervision. Hematological, renal, liver function studies should be done frequently during therapy. Patients with pre-existing bone marrow depression and a liver impairment should be treated with caution. Concomitant uh, treatment with a uh, Brevodine is an absolute contraindication. Uh, patients uh, treated with a drug uh, compromising bone marrow functions should be treated carefully. Blood cell count should be taken very frequently. Patients with a renal disease should uh, receive flu cytosine uh, cautions and in a reduced in a reduced doses. Guidelines for proper dosing exist. Serum level determinations are mandatory in these patients. Hypersensitivity to flu cytosine is an absolute contraindication. Uh, anti anti proliferative actions on the bone marrow and the GI tissue uh, due to the drug's preference to affect the rapidly proliferating tissue, bone marrow depression, there's anemia, leukopenia, cytopenia, or even rarely a granulocytosis may occur. Aplastic anemia also has been seen. Bone, bone marrow toxicity can be irreversible and may cause death, particularly in immunocompromised patients. GI toxicity may be severe or really fatal and consist of anorexia, abdominal bloating, uh, abdominal pain, diarrhea, dry mouth, duodenal ulcer, GI hemorrhage, uh, um, nausea, vomiting, and ulcerative colitis. A liver functions elevation of the liver enzymes, bilirubin, hepatic dysfunction, jaundice. Uh, in one patient, a liver necrosis have all been seen. Some fatal cases have been reported, however, the majority of cases were reversible. Uh, renal functions increase BUN serum creatinine um, have been noted. Crystalluria and acute renal failure have also been re renal failure has been noted. CNS are confusion, hallucination, psychosis, ataxia, hearing loss, headache, paresthesia, Parkinson's, sonism, uh, peripheral neuropathy, vertigo and sedation. Skin rash, pruritis, photosensitivity, Toxic epidermal necrolysis may also be encountered and may be life threatening. Anaphylaxis can be seen. Okay, guys, uh, these are the about uh, flu cytosine. Thank you so much for watching my video on uh, flu cytosine. Uh, take care.